How's it going everybody? This is Turbo Jim and I'm here to show off this new game. Well, not really new. I don't even know how long it's been out. It's called the Stanley Parable. And from what I've seen though, it's a really interesting game. It's really just a mind warping game. But I believe it's entertaining. It's also a narration driven game. So I'm going to probably converse with the narrator more than I'd be conversing with you. Not that I talk a whole lot to begin with. But alright. This get is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-ripping, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. I think that's my cue to move. Let's see. Okay. WASD to move. Mouse to look around. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps let's, he had simply missed a memo. Let's go to the meeting room. Maybe I missed a memo. To the meeting room! When Stanley Wait. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Of course, the meeting room's on the left. How could I have possibly forgotten? To the meeting room, man. There's nobody here either. Yet there was not a single person here either. I just said that. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay, wave of disbelief. <sighs> okay, to the boss's office then. Not into the door jam, to the office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Upstairs, to the boss's office. I'm walking around like some crazy person bouncing off the walls. Is that the boss's office? No, that's the executive bathroom. Okay, that is not the direction we need to go. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, <gasps> unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, Four, five. But of Two, course, Stanley couldn't possibly eight, have known this. Four. Five. Thanks for the help there, Mr. Announcer. By simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct ah, there code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. I stepped into the newly opened passageway. And I'm guessing I go down instead of into the dark corridor. Let's go down. I like that idea better. No! 
let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Well, I just can't believe I sat and spent my entire life punching buttons in that office all day. I mean, I just... I just... I don't know what I've done to Stanley myself. Stanley walked could... straight ahead through the oh. large door that read Mind Control Facility. Wait a second. But that says escape. But I have no reason to try to uh, distrust you, Mr. Announcer Man. We're gonna go this way. Hey, there's a light bulb button. Click, click. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Hmm. Could go back that way. Sure, I can act strong. Can I jump off here? Oh, I, I think I can jump off there. It's probably a bad idea to jump off there. Let's not do that. Desks, chairs, desks. Ah, camera button. Camera button. Okay. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so oh, many individuals reduced to images what does that of the screen. Say? And Stanley I can't read what that one says. Eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Ah, oh, there's another one over there. I want to go that way. But it looks like it's funneling me this way. Hmm. I wonder what could be going on in this massive facility that all the co-workers are kept under surveillance like this. Click, click. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? I don't take kindly no. to that. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? No. But maybe. here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. I will destroy this machine. Give me a hammer. Give me a hammer. Give me a hammer. I want a hammer. I will beat it. I will beat the car out of this equipment. Uh, hit to where I should go next would be really nice, Mr. Announcer Man. Oh, look, buttons! Click. Well, there's one. There's two. Click, click. Okay, where's number three at? Maybe I'm supposed to go out there. Well, there's five. Ah, there's a button over there. 
Hey, there's one over there too. There's three. Click, click. Four. Click, click. We're gonna see five. Five's over there by the door right now. Good thing. Okay, the five buttons do nothing. I'm assuming I'm supposed to go out this door, but I, I wouldn't get any hints to where I'm supposed to go. Mind controls idle. Awaiting input. System and when at last power. he found the source of the room's power. He knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. I guess that means I pushed the off button. It got dark. I can't see anything. What is the mouse doing in here? Go out, go, go away, shoot. Ah, there's white lines over that way. I'm gonna walk towards them. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? I can't walk that direction. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet... Even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where Wait, had what? his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as someone streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered so. to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go. Let me out! I want out! Let me out! Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Oh, look at the scenery. That, that's actually really nice. Considering Stanley I have a horrible frame rate right now. Upon his skin. The feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Hooray, I'm happy. Hey, have beat the game. This game was on sale when I bought it, but it was still nine dollars. There better be more than that, do it. Wait, what? We're back in the office. How what now? How what? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go yeah. to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Do we have a memo? Do we have a memo? Do we When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Meeting room, meeting room, meeting room. Ooh, you look weird. Nope, not open. Get off the door! Yet there was not a single person here either. Tips for not Fly getting fired. Disbelief. Talk Stanley less. decided to go up to Wait, his boss's away. office. How to solve a dispute with a co-worker. Let it ball up inside you. Take out passive, take it out passive aggressively on other co-workers and resent co-workers for not supporting you more. Begin again. Use slides to ensure the employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slide has a thick blue graphic in the header and shows some bevel on the text. This will ensure a calm and productive work environment. Everyone is is unique. You most of all. That 
charts, charts and slides, slides, number of <laughs> slides on this slide. What? I'm not Stanley I, we just need stood to stop there doing nothing now. at all. He seems to think I have nothing better to do with my time than to Wait sit around and describe every fascinating little detail of his inability to do anything. This is why Stanley and I are on such good terms. Boss appreciation minute worksheet, sir. Top 20 things you love most about your boss. He's giving a little bit of a fit about this. I think I'm going to stay right here until he says something like, uh, go now or you will die or something. So, uh, so, what are the dreams for future success? Plant life, football, pollution, a boat, spring break, hope, clear skin, <laughs> metamorphosis, travel, lunch, comatose. Tips for not getting fired. Talk less. Do unbelievably amazing work all the time of the day with no exception. Expectation of promotion or recognition. And don't get fired. Well, duh. Yeah, we already saw this one. Give us something else. Using slides to assure that... Oh, yeah, we already read that one, too. Everyone is unique. You most of all. That is like the most. What is that statement? Those are called the oxymoron statements, where it's it's it can't be both things, but it is or something. I don't remember. Number of slides on this slide. What do people wait? Was it rate at which charts on the same side depict the same information? <laughs> yeah. Rate of increase in graphs per slide. Please no more charts. Please, I'm begging. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, that didn't say anything different. Graphs about things and money. I quarterly post. Yeah, blah, yeah, 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 yeah. Do not alter without consulting whiteboard manager. Can I change it? Okay, well, let me change it. Clicking, but it's not doing anything. Hmm. Nope, okay. I don't see anything going on. So, I guess I'll go ahead and head to the boss's office. Because nothing's happening here. Whee! Well, I have to go out the doorway. Oh. I wonder if we can go in here. Yeah, we're supposed to go to the boss's office. Boss's office. Boss's office. Back on track. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked boss's upstairs office. to his boss's boss's office. Boss's office. Boss, 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 boss to the boss man. The head honcho to Big Cheese. Get off the doorway. Da, 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 da. Stepping into his manager's There's office, nobody here. Stanley was once was again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Four, eight, what could it mean? Two, seven, Stanley seven, wondered one. aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing Two, through papers eight, on the boss's desk, four, pulling books four, off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. Ah, oh, the audio's changed! Be. In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. Two, eight, eight, but of course, Stanley could not possibly down. have known this. Two, eight, four, five. Stanley just sat up yet incredibly by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad. Stanley happened to input the correct code. I, I can hear one. you! Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Oh yeah, we gotta go down the, in the chimney. Chimney! Woo, we're Santa Claus! It's close to Christmas at the time I'm recording this. Actually, it's like December 3rd, but still. Particularly. It's so dark and lonely. Oh, and I don't know if you'll notice earlier, but I got an achievement because I kept pressing the space bar because it's supposed to make you jump in these games, but uh, it doesn't actually do anything in this game. And I got an achievement called, uh, what did it say? You can't jump, we disabled it or something like that. So. 
Why am I not getting the usual? Stanley audience? walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. <laughs> Here we go again. When I went that way last time, all it got me was door opening and me going out. But wait, the wait, there's that other button. One there. There was another button. We gotta go back because there's the other button. Other button. Click. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Yeah, Stand yeah. Come on, hurry up. Did he Let me out for this crazy place. Find out. And I still can't jump. I want to jump. He will not let me jump. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee Aww, in the building. Aw, for a second there, Stanley's I thought I could go back out that fence. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Okay. This oh. mind control facility, it was too horrible I cannot to believe go this it direction. couldn't be true. Let me out. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his Wait, boring what? job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Maybe. I don't know. You tell no. me, how do you know if he mind control is worked or not? He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Maybe. I don't know. I think I've already but done this all. Proof, yeah, I know. The I heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, These buttons didn't or sad, do anything or content. last time. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he but would dismantle the controls once and that. for all. There's nobody else here. I, Stanley the Magnificent, could press the on button and become ruler of the world. Couldn't I? Couldn't I? Mr. Announcer Man, couldn't I? Hello? Let's try it. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate ah! the controls, no, did I you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, no, you I go and you say, try to take control say. of the machine for yourself. Way. Is ah. that what you wanted? Control? Ah. Loading my control system. Oh, Stanley. How do I take control I of it? I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's ah. only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better. Oh, than that. we're getting. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Emergency. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are said to explode. Nuclear detonating the entire complex. Hans hold the safe. Until detonation then. Say um, two minutes. Oh, oh now this is making things oh. a little more fun, isn't it? Oh, well, 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 it's your well, time to shine. You Let's are the star. It's one. your story now. Shape it to your two. heart's desires. Oh, this is okay. much three, better three, than what three, I had three. in mind. What a shame we have so three, little time here, left to enjoy three, it. Three, three, Mere three, three, moments three, three, until three, the three, bomb three, three, goes off. But what precious moments each one four, of them four, is. Four, 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 time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all this means, I barely know where to start. Quit babbling. Let me just so, tell me how to stop. You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. 
I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I erased off the machine. Yeah. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons oh. endlessly and then dying alone. What? Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside. Wait, how I do I get in there? That, 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 it, it looks like so. a bit... This version I want in there. It, 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 it... Watching you try to make sense of everything, forty take seconds. Back the control rested away from you. Okay, I've hit all rich. five buttons. Does that do anything? Go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. I My don't goodness, want to hear anything. Only seconds left, but I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some. Watch your language, Mister. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Sam. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh, we get extra time. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Exactly. Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, yes. you, running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, Wait, door? something here will save me. Door. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you Wait. have any idea? Okay, what your okay, three, three. Where's three? I think I need to push the three button. <laughs> I think I need to push the three Stanley. button. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Three button, three button, three button, three button, three button. It's over here, over here, over here, over here. Three, three button. Three button. Three button. It's just seconds ticking away to you. Three button, three button. You're only still playing instead monitor. of watching okay. cuts. Three button still lit up. So let's get that one. Every again. moment that you're powerless to see three you button. made humble. This three button's still there. It's a tragedy. You wanted three to control still there. this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take Goodbye. A look at the clock for him, for you, for you. 30 seconds, seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about this. But will you let it go peacefully? Yeah, four is up there, but none of the monitors are. Make it count. There's not a seven button anyway. It's all the same to me. All a part of the journey. You got eight seconds. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. Oh, well, it does indeed kill you. Hmm. I wonder if there's actually anything that happens in there, or if, if I, yeah, I don't know. But he, he, the, the, he was babbling about uh, choices and other stories and a bunch of stuff in there, so I'm thinking I'm going to do more exploring this time. And by the way, that was meters per second that walked up in there at the last second. So. Hey everybody, how's it going? What's up? So, uh, eh. Ooh, my Doritos. Ooh, I've been going for nearly 30 minutes. <laughs> Dorito Turbo Jim? No, thank you. Uh, I'm going to cut this here. We went through a couple of the stories, and I really actually enjoyed that. It was, it was well, there wasn't a whole lot to that. He, he was, the narrator started seeming like he was almost uh, ad-libbing a little bit there, which seems like it could get interesting. So maybe the worst that I... Uh, Stray from the storyline, the more talkative he'll get. So, yeah, really. why don't you just... What? Stanley, why don't you listen to me, Stanley? Oh, this could have been so much better if you followed the storyline! <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna cut this here, and, uh, I'll keep. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna cut this here. Uh,. Six, that was five, a nice little cameo four. of meters per second. He's headed out, and uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't have stood there like an idiot for three minutes. But uh, all right, this is Turbo Jim. I am headed out. I will see you guys around the next time. And uh, Stanley stood for a long time in one spot. Oh. He likes to see how long he can go oh? trying. What? So far, he's doing excellent. And what? if he just stays right where he is. I'm sure he'll keep up that good momentum. What? Let's observe the genius He's, at work. Meters can't hear me because I'm, I'm wearing headphones, but the narrator started complaining basically because I'm standing in the room.
I, I, he was complaining earlier. I wonder if, if there's another ending. The narrator watches you everywhere. Yes, he does. He is God. No. There is stuff. Let there be something stuff. Yay! Ah, that's an odd place for probably to have it. Time for us to go. Well, you can go. I don't have any. You don't want to see my truck? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to have to cut this here. And, uh, maybe we'll have to show pictures of your truck sometime. We'll have to show pictures of your truck sometime. He decks his truck out in Christmas lights. I'll take a video Christmas. of it. And I'll put it on my channel. And you can I am your stuck. Video to your channel. I am stuck in the corner. I am stuck in the corner. I cannot get out of the. Oh, I'm out of the corner. <laughs> Duh. Oh, what? But Stanley said so to handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? You what if a crucial outcome fell done. under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here, I can be happy forever. Except I will food. be happy. There's no food. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. I'm hungry. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now oh. it's even closer. Come. Here it comes. You re you restarted my game. game. Oh, wow. you. Wow. You. Wow. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. New, new, new. That's new. We, we'll get to that later. All right. I'll see you guys. Thank you very much. This has been Turbo Jam. I'm headed out. Like, subscribe, I'm on Facebook and Twitter, check me out there and share with your friends, please. Like him! Please?